going to be turning the wheel here. We are going to be hitting this thing head on. I have learned that. Let's hope we don't end up on top of that bridge there. That is a possibility. So we have a giant hurricane on radar, and we're going to be testing if this giant sailboat right here can actually survive a hurricane. And I'm wondering this because this thing has sails, meaning it's kind of operated by wind, and hurricanes kind of have some pretty harsh winds. So we're going to definitely see if this thing can survive. Make sure you stay till the end and see what happens. Oh, there we go. All right, sails have unfolded, y'all. So it does appear we actually are sailing now with the um, crazy amount of wind we currently have. And then we can steer the ship like so. Um, I don't know exactly how sailboats work in real life. I'm pretty sure they use the wind. But um, anyways, let's go ahead and turn to the left here because I think we're going to try going that way. Uh, these thing, this thing does actually have guns on it below deck. Um, yeah, we're going to test those out. And here we go. So I will show the hurricane here momentarily on the radar. But the first thing we're going to do is line this thing straight out to see where the hurricane is actually at. Uh, then the game plan is to run through a quick tour of this thing so we can actually see what's inside of this thing and maybe even try you know actually surviving if anything does happen is are those hold on a second do we have planes spawned it oh gosh oh yep that's a Cessna okay that's cool we're gonna go ahead and turn the wheel right here I didn't even realize this thing like actually turns and that has the golden thing where it um actually evens out it so I think this is the center right here where it doesn't turn at yeah that looks about right all right we're smooth sailing from here let's actually run through a tour before we do end up probably sinking today let's go ahead and click front lights on there we go all right so now we got some lights on this thing and I think this would be the back lights button all right awesome um I don't know if this is made off of any ship from like sea of thieves maybe like the brig or what's the what's the boat called that this thing would look more like I don't know but we do have a British flag on the back I know that is not in sea of thieves but um let's go ahead and actually open this door here and see what's going on in here and then close it behind us because that is a big watertight door right there oh this looks cool okay this kind of does look familiar like the actual sea of thieves one but um let's actually look more into it so right here as you can see this is where we eat our dinner at we got a little crank right here another watertight door is this like a patio or something yes yeah, so we do have a really small patio out here really close to the water line so we're not going to want to go out there once it's actually hurricaning out we got an engine belt drive right there for some reason all right let's go downstairs here i think we've explored everything out here on this deck um i don't know what that is okay let's go downstairs and see what's going on so let's go and turn on some lights just like so and immediately i'm noticing um a ton of cylinders and a ton of supplies down here oh wow yep that is a lot of supplies okay and then this is my seat right here made out of pure luxury gold special thanks to uh okay i did not know this was in this ship but someone put my name in this oh yeah thank you yeah this is our golden seat right here me sea grubs and endo skulls golden seat looks lovely i'm gonna go and grab some armor just for you know some reasons here um and a giant gun and maybe some grenades here and there but we're not gonna actually launch those um let's go over here see what's going on turn on some lights so we have a very very claustrophobic hallway right here i don't know who designed that but that's a little bit scary um let's go in this room right here so this is a nice room right here we do actually have windows um let's look to the right window here are we gonna hit this bridge I'm not trying to reenact what just happened irl um, okay, so we do have this right here and then we do have a gun right next to this bedroom So if you're just calmly sleeping, you probably will hear that go off and you'll probably crap your pants So you're definitely gonna want to get your bed sheets uh, checked after that now Let's go up here to the front section of the boat though So this is where a ton of ammo is actually stored at as you can see this is quite interesting um, Let's go down here and then this is a lower compartment of the ship I think this is actually the lowest compartment at a cargo lights. Yeah, so this is a cargo room right here This is where all the sailors will actually brewing all their stuff at so this is a quite interesting room right here we got some boxes we got some um i don't know those look like nukes i'm not gonna lie um they look like literally the warheads in this game but um we got a whole bunch of briefcases got some random man that'll be sleeping down here i'm actually dying right now okay i gotta turn off player damage oh there's co2 poisoning i forgot but uh just verifying this is the bottom of the boat right oh yeah this is a dead bottom look how many fish there are oh geez there's a lot of them yeah okay we could catch a lot right now um, you guys hear that? I'm hearing some sirens actually start to kick on right now. So that could either mean a couple things. We got an air raid incoming or there's some type of natural disaster. I don't know. Which one would I prefer? An air raid or a natural disaster? I mean, we really haven't ever seen an air raid in Stormark. So let's cross our fingers. That might be there. Deploy all left cannons. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Okay. And open the hatches. Uh, that's cool. Okay. Should we fire these off? Just don't even, just don't even mind the air raid sirens. Let's just go ahead and click space here. Then I think they're actually reloading. I don't know. Space. Okay. Oh, yep. That definitely works. Oh my gosh. Oh, y'all. We got an issue here. Towards the front and back section of the ship, we actually have a catastrophic failure. Oh, I feel bad for that man sleeping down there. Um, whoa, let's see. Is there anything? Any waves? Any winds? Anything coming from the sky? 
I don't know, y'all. I don't know. It must just be another false alert, as always. Well, since it's a false alert, I'm gonna go downstairs here and cook myself some dinner. I really hope we're not filling with water. Oh, wait, hold on a second. We might fill with water because these are really big hatches that are just completely open on us. Okay, so we might sink to the left side. I'm actually feeling a bit of a lean to the left here. Let's keep this door open so we don't get CO2 poisoning because, man, this thing has issues with that. Um, let's go over here and make ourselves some dinner. Um, where's the where's like the cooking plate at that we use? I don't know. Okay, I feel like we really are leaning right now. Let's go downstairs here. Is there any water? Let's even go to the lower compartment here, like the lowest one. Any water? Oh, gosh, that was concerning. Okay, I don't see anything. Let's go back up here before we dive. Well, the sirens are staying on. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that I can definitely see why the sirens are on right now. Okay, so this is going to be a very interesting tsunami survival. We are in a sailboat. Let's hope we can rise the tsunami and not flip over. I'm going to be turning the wheel here. We are going to be hitting this thing head on. I have learned that. Um, Let's hope we don't end up on top of that bridge there. That is a possibility, but I got this thing completely uh, turned to the starboard side of the ship here. So we're going to see if we are able to survive this. The bridge is just getting completely swallowed right now. I feel bad for any trains about to go over that bridge because, man, that's probably going to collapse. Here we go. Let's straighten out the wheel here. We are starting to rise the tsunami right now. This thing's giant. Ladies and gentlemen, get inside. Oh, we're flooding. Um, Please close this. Close the battle cannons on the left side, y'all. We're, we're getting just so much water. Here we are. We're totally in the air. I'm getting airtime right now. Oh, that's bad. That is definitely bad. I took a little bit of damage there. We're heavily leaning to the left side of the boat because we have just way too much water in that side. Um, you know what? I actually am going to go back downstairs now because I do believe I will see some type of water. Let's go ahead and open this door here. Be a room over here. Uh, here's the room right here. Here's one of them. Any water in here? Um, surprisingly not. Okay, the cannon door is closed. Up. Oh, we're really leaning. But yeah, as you can see, the weather is continuing to get worse. It is starting to rain and the waves are starting to kick up even more. I am just totally prepared to flip over on this thing because this thing is definitely capable of that. Is that what actually happens though when th these things like uh, go into storms? Do they flip over? Because these sails really pick up a lot of wind and I would say they flip over depending on how they're angled. And I think this is actually a Sea of Thieves ship. I don't know for sure, but um, I think it is. So let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see me do a video on Sea of Thieves just to like throw it out there. But as we know, we've already checked this hallway right here. There is no water down through it. Um, I'm more concerned about the lower compartment, which is towards the front. We turn right right here, open this hatch and go down here. Yeah, so there isn't water in here, thankfully. This poor guy sleeping isn't drowning yet. But I am really feeling the wave starting to pick up. We might even have to steer here in a second because we are kind of heading towards the bridge. I mean, we shouldn't hit it, but um, it should. We definitely got to start turning here. We do have an anchor right here. Should we should we try it only for decoration? Ah, OK, that's fine, though. It does twist about a little bit. Not not too much, but um, it does twist. That's pretty cool. And I think we're going to try going over that next bridge right there. We saw one back there, but um, I don't think we can actually fit through those. I Yeah, this thing's definitely way too tall. We'd probably hit a sail and it'd really be chaotic. So I'm going to get back up here in the helm and we're going to hope we can even just fit under that one right there because I'm still honestly questioning if that'll even work because this thing's really tall. You know, I don't even think it'll work. This thing just looks way too tall for it. And with the waves how they are right now, I do not actually think we could fit under that bridge. Oh man, we will have to divert our course, I think, a little bit here. We're going to drive next to it, of course, and we're going to see if we'll be able to make it work. Um, I As of now, I don't think we will with the waves just kind of launching us up and down. Maybe if there are calm waves, but yeah, not today. But um, as the waves continue to get worse, we do want to hit them head on. So we kind of still have to go that way, but we can't go completely that way because, you know, we got reasons. All right, I'm going to start turning here to the starboard and we're going to try hitting these waves head on just for a little bit here because these are getting bad. Oh, it's starting to get really, really rainy out here. I wish we had like an interior helm, like where I could be inside nice and cozy and hopefully air conditioning. I don't think there's air conditioning on a ship like this, but um, you never know, y'all. I don't know what the pirates had, but um, they probably had some type of adva advancements like that. But I'm going to go down below deck here once again and just we got to cross our fingers every time we go down here that this thing doesn't capsize because imagine being down here when the ship capsizes. That'd be terrifying. As you can see, we are way farther out of sea. We've completely turned away from the train tracks over there, so we have about nothing. I, I am definitely feeling the effect of the hurricane right now in broad daylight here. It is actually broad daylight. The sun's somewhere up there, but um, 
we do have an island there to our right that i think that's like snake island or something you're not supposed to go over there because there's snakes on it and i know there's a snake island and sea of thieves too which I, that's why i'm kind of mentioning it but um anyways let's continue driving here i think the waves did just completely change direction on us so we're gonna be turning here to the starboard and uh turning this entire ship here with it hopefully at least here we go i'm turning this thing oh this is bad okay waves are starting to actually go over deck now i don't know if that was happening a while ago but we're starting to see that splashing motion here all right we're gonna definitely see it once we go down on this one here we go and yeah see definitely that's uh picking up here rain's picking up wind's picking up it's just getting bad out here um we're gonna drive past that island maybe just cruise past it i don't exactly know i don't want to like hit it though obviously but uh just a performance evaluation check this thing's doing a pretty good job at surviving i can't admit oh man we about to flip we're about to flip did you guys see that oh that was really close okay we almost flipped right there oh okay we gotta be hitting the waves head on this is exactly why you don't hit them from the side man i swear these waves are getting worse and worse as we stand out here oh i left that door open oh geez okay um well we were trying to get the co2 out of the room because we did actually die from that or started to what i'm gonna do right now is go back downstairs what was that we just had a lot of smoke come out of the bottom section of this ship here um is there is there someone down there that we don't know about okay let's look anyone through these cracks or i don't think we can see anyone through there um can we enter the boat from like a different area okay we're going right past snake island right now all right i'm down in this room here i'm actually seeing a little bit of water flood through the section right here oh wow hold on a second are we are we filling up with water what just happened oh we do have damage um every so often here i thought those were from, from the cannons though oh my gosh okay i'm gonna go over here what is going on in this room right here oh there's a lot of water in here dude what just happened okay we gotta go and swim through here see what happened really fast because the water's really to the brim of this room we're not trying to drown yet um here it is though interesting so something must have happened right here i think there might just be a crack in the hall that's like opening and closing and letting water in because this is definitely continuing to fill up on us let's actually get out of this room right now before we end up drowning in it oh it's gonna fill up to the ceiling before we get out go 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 oh my gosh okay that is very creeping um let's try getting out of here oh there we go okay i think we did get out but um, i'm gonna go ahead and actually seal this door right here and we're gonna lock down this entire center section of the ship so if there's anyone in there right now i feel pretty bad for them yeah we're just doing this to stop sinking here so there we go it has been completely shut down we do still have a little bit of water but it should, shouldn't be like too effective on this thing sinking um are we sitting anywhere any any more low in the water here oh wow oh that's bad yeah we're definitely sitting much much lower yeah so if we ended up opening these gunner cannon things right now that'd be an instant death for us so let's just really really hope those things don't end up opening on us but um you know there's possibility oh my gosh oh wow oh i've just felt like the static in my hair get risen from that y'all this is bad we are completely in the hurricane right now we do have another boat over there that's a lot of lights they actually have going on there i don't know if they're sinking probably i don't know um let's go ahead and turn on deck lights here I completely turn those off because my computer was like dying over here okay let's go ahead and turn these back on there we go we'll only have the front ones on because yep um 82 celsius isn't too good for a gp um we're gonna also close this door right here that should have been closed a long time ago with these waves especially but yeah waves are 100 going over the deck now as uh you can see we're floating way lower than we were oh jump over it don't hit my yeezys okay we got to get back up here in the higher area still wish this was enclosed but um unfortunately it's not but yeah this is definitely where the hurricane's at maybe the worst part of it you guys think this is the worst part of a hurricane i don't know uh not gonna lie i kind of want to go back downstairs and see what the water is like so we're gonna go in here close the door immediately oh gosh we almost just got crushed by it um let's go down here though there isn't water over here there's a little bit that's just the water that didn't get out i'm um, looking at this door here let's kind of put our hand on the door here let's feel how high the water level is i can actually see the water through the door that's concerning let's open it for a split second here oh man oh man that's filled close it close it close it oh wow okay this is bad i think we are actually sinking uh these boats have lifeboats right yeah i'm sure there's someone something down there oh close the door that's a lot of water that just came in okay let's check the flotation status once again here because geez just one single breach in the hall definitely just did a lot of damage there oh wow oh this is bad y'all this is really bad this thing's going down fast ladies and gentlemen aboard this ship please get inside um i'm sure y'all are inside already but we're really having water problems right now oh 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's really bad. Um, okay. That's fine. Okay. We resurfaced. I don't know if I should either be inside or outside right now. Let's just look at this smartly here. Should we be inside or outside? So if we're outside, we're probably going to die because this thing's going to sink. If we're inside, we might have an air pocket and yeah, that'd be fine. But if we're outside, we're not going to swim in this weather. That'd be pretty bad. I'm going to try opening this door here on a perfect time where water isn't going through. Oh, wow. I timed that terribly. Oh, okay. There we go. We got it. Um, we are in this room right right now the boat is still driving because of yeah there's definitely enough wind to pick up the sails here but um i'm gonna chill in here for a little bit hopefully it calms down is there is this really filling up hold on is this water oh yeah there's water in here it's definitely filling up from uh the last time we checked okay i'm just gonna chill in this room here uh, let's go and grab a third person view here the bow section does look like it has an insane amount of water in it that's gonna try bringing this thing down here oh no Oh, oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. That might not be good. That might not be good at all, y'all. Oh, geez. This is not at all what I want to see on the bow section of the ship. That's a giant wave going over. Whoa, wave just went completely under. Um, Oh, geez, y'all, we're going down. I'm going to stay in this stinking room right here. I really hope these windows are watertight, but I really doubt it too. Oh, um, here we go. Yep, this is it. This is officially us sinking here, or it has to be. Oh, let me get some fresh air. Dude, we're going to die from CO2 in this room. Um, this is bad okay it's fine we don't think of that um let's crack the window open here for a second there we go we got a little bit of fresh air before it went underwater here i can't get back up here okay let's get in the seat we'll just stay in it but oh we have just completely sunk um we're not at the bottom yet thankfully i don't think we have enough water in this thing uh this window is desperately trying to stay above the water this back window right here i think the bow section uh it has not hit the bottom but um ooh, stay above stay above oh geez it's like so close it's going up and down i can like see the water line through the window here but um yeah don't stand up we're literally about to die and here we go i think we have officially sunk there oh what's that oh that normally happens when there's a lot of water filling in at once all right here we go we're standing up it's fine oh don't hit the door okay we can kind of see out of the ship right here are we hitting the bottom i'm really feeling a lot of like rotating going on here i don't know what's going on i'm a little bit scared i've just seen a lightning strike i want this thing to hit the sea floor so we can kind of rest on the bottom here oh oh geez it's like really shaking i feel the entire hull just like vibrating um um, I don't know what's going on up there, though. Oh, you guys feel that? Uh, are we leveling out? I, I can't tell here. Oh, I think we are. Yes, yes, please do that. Here we go. And we're starting to level out now, so we should be able to stand up, and it should just get completely flat since we'll be on the seafloor here, hopefully. Oh my gosh, y'all. We're running out of oxygen in this room. We really need to make a decision here. Can we crack this open? Will it help? A uh, little bit of um, CO2 or H2O. That, that'll definitely help. Y'all, I think we got to get out of this thing. The reason why we're not completely flat is because of the insane amount of air in this room right here. This is actually keeping this entire boat not afloat, but um, somewhat stable. Okay, we're getting out of this thing, though. I can't I can't breathe. Oh, oh my gosh. I can't get out. It's like launching me. Go. Oh, it just launches me out, y'all. This is bad. This is really bad. Okay, I can't get out. Okay, I know what to do. You got to let a little bit of water in, and then once it evens out, maybe you can get out here. You know, we'll uh, release the pressure through these doors here. Maybe that'll help. Uh, nope, not at all. Can I just go through this one then? Nope. Yeah, that's terrible. Well, it's definitely filling up in here. I can say that. Uh, in a second here, we should be able to actually just swim out of these doors here. Are we really going to have to wait for this thing to get to the brim? Okay, I'm going to definitely grab some first aid with me here swim out swim out it's not letting me out go just swim under there we go oh no that's not happening oh man i gotta get out of this thing all right it's filling up we got our last little air pocket here that's slowly definitely going down okay it's like really at the doors just let me get out of this thing oh finally okay we're able to get out let's try getting to the surface here let's see if i'm actually able to swim we're not too deep we, i can see my legs kicking okay that's great that's great oh we're starting to take damage get up to the top here we go we just got a couple more seconds and oh, we just barely made it. Oh my gosh. Okay, the screen is literally black and white. That's how damaged I am. But um, unfortunately, I think in this weather, I probably will end up dying. But if you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did, be sure to smash that like and subscribe button. Go ahead and click one of the videos on the screen to watch more of my videos. Join the Discord. Link is in the description. But thank you guys all for watching until the end. And goodbye.